sides. Mine just reels at possible trouble there. <laughs> okay, and Gabrielle's dress is completely finished. Oh, she and Miranda are going to look absolutely beautiful. I love the whole notion. Erica, if you don't mind, um, I'm trying to examine her. I really need some quiet. Of course you do. Sorry. Look, I have a hundred other things to do, so I'm just going to be on my way, and I will see you later. Okay. Your heart rate jumped quite a bit there. Although I'd be surprised if it hadn't. You're actually doing incredibly well. I need a favor. Name it. It would help if I was medically unable to attend this wedding. How's that patient? She's good. Although I do think it's a little too early for her to be traveling. I'd advise against it. I'd like to see you again the day after tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. We'll go over his options later. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Beats the coffee in the lounge any day. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not all right. I'm chief of staff in this hospital. I shouldn't have to be playing substitute doctor in the ER. But Angie Hubbard didn't have the courtesy to call in. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a death in the family, the mother of Jesse's daughter. Yeah, I heard. But she deserves, she owes us a phone call at the very least. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm late. Uh, who should I thank for um, taking over for me? You're looking at him. Oh, well, thank you. Dr. Hubbard. Go with me. The only reason why you're still working here in this hospital is because your husband set me up. Now, if you want to push my buttons, fine. We'll see how that plays out. But there are other doctors and other patients in this hospital that are depending on your professionalism. So if your performance lags because you're taking advantage of what your husband did to me... You have no right to question my professionalism. I may have personal issues with you and the way that you treat it, Crystal. But I have never let it get in the way of me doing my job, and everyone here will attest to that. So take your indignation and shove it. Now, you see, that's the attitude I'm talking about. Dr. Hayward, please report to the OR. Dr. Hayward, to the OR, please. No games, Angie. I'm giving you fair warning. a minute there's something i've been meaning to do and i just don't want to wait any longer all right first i want to start off by saying i'm sorry what for the way i've treated your friends like angie i know it's not right okay i may not care for them but if by hurting them I end up hurting you. I'm really sorry. I guess I have to find new ways to deal with my anger. You're the one who taught me the importance of that. I did? Yeah. Now, I wanted to give you something the other night, a confusion. But with Tad and everything, it just wasn't the right time. So I've been carrying it in my pocket ever since. This isn't an engagement ring, okay? I know that you're not ready to deal with that right now. But I would love for you to have this in the meantime. It, it's... it's beautiful. So will you wear it? Yes. Of course I will. 